What's up everybody, it is Daydreams, welcome back to the channel, another day, another Clash of Kings video. So, today guys, I've got something pretty interesting. So, I went to Twitter, at DaydreamsMMORTS, and I asked you guys to show me who are the strongest players in Clash of Kings that you know. So, today we're going to go around different kingdoms and explore these strong players who have probably put tens of thousands, and some of them into six figures into this game. Literally, a Lamborghini... These castles are like Lamborghinis. You have to understand that these are these are very valuable castles. So let's go take a look. Now I've got another video for later on today, and I've been talking with my friend Alex and a couple other people, and we've been talking about different ways to improve the game. So I'm gonna get into that later in the next video, and we're gonna go over so many ways to improve the game, and a couple of them you're really gonna like because it includes not being zeroed by castles that are bigger than you. Because it's just not fair when a level 30 zeroes a 22. We'll get into that. So, I think you guys will really like that video. But for now, let's go take a look at all these strong castles that we're going to be bitching about later. So, let's go through here. Um, by the way, guys, tomorrow is Fix Your Lair Monday. So, I've already got probably 20 layers to go through. But if you do want your lair checked out, um, just tweet me at DaydreamsMMORTS. Here, I'll go ahead and go to it. It's on the screen. It's on the screen right now, at Daydreams MMORTS, and basically, um, basically, just tweet me a picture of your lair, your current lair, a picture of your skill set, and a picture of your equipment, because, you know, if you have your skills in archers and siege, I'm gonna need to tweak your lair a little bit so that it benefits you with more archers, more siege, um, so just send me that stuff, and a picture of your equipment, so... Your lair, your equipment, and your skills. So, let's go ahead and get right into this and see if we can find some monster Lamborghini castles here. So, let's make sure we don't miss anybody because a lot of people send them. But a lot of these new tweets are people wanting to share the lair. So, Kingdom 15, coordinates 1515. 15. He's a max prestige 5. He killed everybody in Kingdom 15. Now he's in 1582. So, let's check him out in Kingdom 15. His coordinates are 1515. 15. That seems kind of odd. Coordinates 1515. 15. Like, I don't even know where that is on the map. Unless he's just did it, so he's 15, 15, and 15. Let's take a look. He might be there. Wow, he's there. These guys are on the edge of the map, and they own the kingdom. This is um, pretty crazy. Looks like a very mixed, mixed alliance. Um, I don't know why they don't have a flag. I Oh, you can turn flags off if you want, but, you know, this is an old kingdom, guys. This is kingdom 15. These are some of the pioneers of the game here. We gotta show them some respect. I don't know how some of them are still level 20. Six and 23 castle after two years come on step it up people but i don't see a lot of farms and stuff but you know the older a kingdom gets the less farming you really want to do in the game and then they got the kingdom one so it's basically just it's basically just um okay here's the guy 15 15 it's basically just dragon campaigns and stuff from here on out so let's see what he's sitting at 51 million power 216 million kills the man king send him an invite to the channel Okay, so I sent him an invite to the channel. The Man King, you have a nice castle, man. 51 million power. Been there for a couple years now, so that's a pretty big castle, pretty nice castle, but we're going to see some serious monsters, guys. We're just getting into it. So, this is in Kingdom 397. Look at this alliance, AAA. They've got a 221 million power. Now, I don't know if this is power or kills, because I'm starting to think this is kills, because there's no way this is the power of these people, so... Tyler Rathbun, let me know in the comment section below if these are if this is power We're going to this kingdom and we're digging deep because these people are some absolute savages. You got three Lambo castles You got three you got a Maserati castle. You got two Lambo castles You've got a Mercedes-Benz two Mercedes-Benz and then you've got like a Supra So I mean this this kingdom is out of control but if it's just kills, then it's not too out of control. So I'm asking for power. So Tyler, I think this is kills. But if that's power, those are some serious monsters. So Kingdom 296, four prestige fives, one near the enemies. Um, a mole, you got to send me some coordinates here, bro. I can't check them out if you don't give me coordinates. I don't know where to look. That's a big kingdom, bro. Um, Antonius, um, he's talking about the tax and the Amazon. Apparently, some of you guys have been experiencing taxes through the Amazon. I'll ask them about that. I'm not quite sure, but, um, 
you know, when you're saving that much percentage, even if there is a tax, it's not going to make that big of a difference. But this is the king of 114. King is very scary. So, 114, 618, 645. 618, 645. And it's king on what? 118? I think I'm wrong. But I'm just going to guess, and if it's wrong, we'll go back and check. Uh, we might be pretty close. He might have ported there. 618, Kingdom 114. So we actually found another another alliance in this area. So what's up, Achilles and all these people, man? I hope these... Look at all these American players. We got to get all these guys subscribed to the channel. So if you can, guys, send these people a message. Letting people know they're in the video. So maybe they'll come check us out. So it's Kingdom 114. Let's hope we can find the guy. Kingdom 114. Um, okay, maybe I was off on the coordinates. 621, 648. 618, 545. Okay. So I wasn't even close. So this should be a here. This guy right here. Um, he's got 11. K90 is the alliance. Take a look at him. Plus he's got that king buff, so... Um, he's from Taiwan. A lot of the... Wow! Wow! Did I just see what I just saw? Look at this, guys. 215 million power. How do you even get 215 million power? And he's got 190 million kills, so it doesn't like it's just been sitting around farming. Let's take a look at some statistics and stuff. Let's, let's dig a little deeper. So, healed troops, 1.5 million. Losses, 13 million. So, you know, if this was a farmer, it would have like 300 million power. So, you know... With these losses and a level 30 prestige fight like this, most of those are probably level 10, you know, probably Berserker, Frontline, Halberdier, stuff like that, and of course other troops, but, you know, 13 million kills, 1.5 million healed. Um, you can see what your power would have been by checking that stuff out. Um, I know I would be up way above, like, 40 million power if it wasn't for all the losses I took, but this is a serious savage. Let's see what else they've got in their alliance. Looks like it's a Russian, Russian and uh, Taiwanese alliance, so... Looks like they merged Russians and Taiwanese. We got some Polish um, members, Malaysian members. So looks like a well-rounded, uh, well-rounded alliance. Um, he's from Taiwan, so you can check out the videos. Chinese, um, they they can't log into YouTube without a VPN because they have their own social media that they're pushing. But um, Daydreams YouTube, you are in a video. So hopefully we can get some new people to the channel while we're doing this. Hit these people up. Um, you guys can go check out the castles as well. You can see the coordinates just as well as I can. So this guy doesn't even give me... Um, Baman, he doesn't even give me uh, a picture, a name, or anything. He just says, look, here's the coordinates. Come check this shit out. So 567, 567, 557. Okay, 567, 557. Okay. 567... Five, Five six seven, five five seven. I believe that's right, guys. I believe that's right. Okay, we got it. So we've got another Chinese castle here. He's going to gather some uh, food. Let's go attack it. Oh, oh, it's not letting me. You can't attack other kingdoms, guys. It'd be cool if you could, but you don't want these two hundred million power castles coming to your king because eventually they will get bored and come and mess you up. So be happy you can't jump kingdoms. Everyone that wants to jump kingdoms. Be very fortunate that they do not allow kingdom jumping after Castle 5 because you would have to deal with castles like this. 105 million power. 208 million kills. Let's see what how, kind of losses he's dealing with. 20 million losses, guys. And only 395,000 healed troops. This guy don't even hit tiles. This guy does not hit tiles. Those healed troops, look at this shit. Those healed troops are from the... Um, from uh, first aid, where you get 10% of your troops back. And he didn't even get all 10% back, so he was killing shit before he even got first aid. This guy's a savage. He don't even hit tiles. He don't even know what a tile is. He probably don't know you can hit tiles. He's busy hitting castles all day, so this guy's a savage. So, um, this guy don't have the highest power. We already seen a 200 million power castle, but we'll tell him savage. We're not going to tell him about the channel. We'll try. Um, I spelled it wrong, so he's not going to be able to use the um, translator. But we've seen some pretty wild castles so far, guys. Maybe we'll do... 
Let's do a hunt every week for the strongest player in Clash of Kings. So far, the strongest 205 million power that we know about. I'm going to need your guys' help. Let me know if you guys know of any stronger castles. And we will crown a king of Clash of Kings. We'll find the strongest player in Clash of Kings. Should be pretty easy. So, whoa, that's not my kingdom. Just wanted to inform you. We already looked at this one, I think. Yeah, K90, 214 million. It looks like he or she is going to be the highest level 49 lord guys think about that level 49 lord that is insane so he has the highest power in our kingdom okay we already looked at 567 thank you for showing us that bro uh let's see i think that was the first tweet i got um okay we've got some fixing layers fixing layers fixing layers fixing layers fixing layers we got fixing layers. Guys, we got a lot of layers to do tomorrow. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a wild video. We've got a lot of layers to fix tomorrow. So pretty insane. Um someone showing me an attack. Um it's in Arabic, so I can't I can't read it. But some of you guys I know I have a lot of Arabic viewers, so you guys can uh you guys can read that. So <clears throat> that's it for everybody showing me these monster castles, guys. Let's uh let's keep going on the hunt every week. Um, you know, Sunday evenings like this, we're gonna hunt for these monster castles of Clash of Kings. I wanna see them all. I wanna see all these people. Anything over, you know I mean anything over 40, 50 million power is huge to me. That's just like anything over fifty million, I'm getting the hell out of that kingdom. Uh even if they're on my side, it's gonna get pretty boring. I mean it might be fun with to have a monster like that for your dragon campaigns, because you're gonna have someone that can hold down that that uh middle building um but think of these people they have like tens of thousands of um or i mean tens of millions of um t10 they can put tens of millions of t10 in these buildings in the dragon campaign they can just hold down a building by themselves you're not super rallying that you're not doing anything to tens of millions of t10 just remember that but these are some savage castles guys it was pretty fun to look at these um i put this out kind of late oh we've got another prestige tribe in this kingdom um, it uh, looks like Saudi Arabian, uh, member. 14 million. Okay, I thought it was going to be a pretty, pretty crazy castle. Yeah, Saudi Arabia. There's a lot of big Saudi Arabian castles. Um, there's a lot of big Arabic castles in general. The biggest player in the game might be Arabic, actually. Because I have seen some Arabic castles that are, um, and I've seen a couple big Turk castles, too. And Russian castles. I mean, I've seen castles big from everywhere. But... Those are like China, Taiwan, um, Saudi Arabia, Cater, all these places I see monster castles. I've seen some big Russian castles. I've seen some big, I've seen some big Brazilian castles. I've seen big castles everywhere. You name a country, I've seen a Prestige 5 from it. So um, that's why I think it'd be really cool guys to do a Nation's Cup of the Dragon Campaign. Put 50 members, um, just get the 50 highest castle levels from each country. Put them into a, uh, you know, tournament or like a round robin effect type thing. And it'd be really cool to see. And, um, you know, we already know that it'd probably be China, Taiwan, Korea, all these countries up at the top. But it'd be funny to see where some of these countries without as many players, but they've got some of these big castles, how they would fare. Like Saudi Arabia, like Qatar, like... Um, you know, um, well, Turkey's pretty big, but like Turkey, and then you got monster countries like Russia and Brazil, they would have a lot, they'd all be up there in the top five, I'm not sure where America would be, but, um, I would hope that I could get an honorary, uh, honorary spot on the team, that'd be sweet, just to, uh, I, I, I'd love to be like the captain of the, uh, American team, that would really pump me up, so, uh, this was a fun video to make guys it's fun to come and check out all these people we're pushing our prestige 5 don't forget about that we've got the building buff on there and we're not going to be giving up that throne not until i get this prestige 5 because i gotta keep that building buff on there it's saving me a lot oh my svip ran out that is bad guys you don't want to let your svip you don't want to let your vip 10 run out because then you lose that 30 percent hospital capacity too it's not good it's not good i've been looking in the i told you guys this before but um make sure you come to the market and you can sometimes get the sometimes get the uh vips at a very discounted price so you can get like um the 1500 gold uh one week vip you can get for um 1250 or something or 1200 and then you can get three one day vips for 500 gold so 250 gold off 
or 200 gold off so it's a pretty big savings i always grab these little things like this for 25 gold guys just to so you can try to get even a better uh deal don't worry about the trap building speed up traps you never want to rely on traps if you're relying on traps you're doing something wrong because you don't want to ever have to worry about that much of a defense uh i need iron so i'm of course taking these i always take these healing speed ups they help so much during dragon campaign and look what we found so we've got 250 gold off of that we got 150 gold off that so we're getting all kinds of savings here in the market guys make sure you hit that market up but another thing you guys want to hit is that like button because that is the best way to support this channel the like button it it brings new people to the channel because when they see a lot of likes it puts it in the algorithm through youtube and then I'll show up on the right side of their search screen when they're searching for games like this. And then we get new players to the game. Fresh meat. Uh, so, you know, that, that helps out, you know, the entire economy of Clash of Kings in general. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. I'll see you guys later for a pretty cool video. Peace.